All right, guys and girls, welcome back to That Techo Guy, and thank you for your patience. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, been quite busy with some personal things lately, but now things have calmed down a bit, and I am back and here for you to share a few more details and a bit more news and things you might not yet know. So, as we all know, the Ethereum merge is now done and dusted, it's gone, it's finished, and you can no longer mine that Ethereum currency, that cryptocurrency, with your GPUs, and it's no longer mineable, it's only proof of stake now. However, the question is, are there any more other mineable coins out there? Is there anything that you can actually mine that can actually net you a bit of a profit or a decent profit? And even, is there anything you can mine with your CPU and not just your GPUs? Today I'm here to tell you that yes, there is, and you can actually make a decent profit. Stay tuned to find out more. Alrighty, so the two cryptocurrencies that I am going to be talking about today will be Epic Cash and Dero Coin. Okay, I have stumbled across some information where you can actually mine these two cryptocurrencies with your CPU, yes, you heard right, your central processing unit, and actually make a profit. So on my screen here, we can see the Epic Cash on the coin market cap website so this is at rank 829 at the moment and the current price is at 48 euro cents yes the price has been going down since it started and this coin actually started at the start of this year around uh, the first of january actually so at the very start of 2022 and the price yes has been falling however i have some news to tell you that you can actually mine this coin with your CPU and make a bit of a profit, even with the not so low energy prices. And I will show you the results and tell you how now as well. Now, this is not any financial advice. So as I always like to say, I'm not giving you any financial advice when I'm mentioning these coins and any other cryptocurrencies. This is just general knowledge to help you make more informed decisions and so that we can all learn and grow together. Okay, so do not invest in these coins. I'm not telling you go out and invest in these coins or anything. Just take this as information and use it wisely and do your own due diligence always and your own research. So the next coin, on my list is Dero coin and this is at rank 342 and the current price of this coin is at four euros and 20 cents the price has been going up and down so recently it's kind of evened out at around four euros and 13 cents now the real great thing about these two coins is that they're both cpu mineable okay and be sure to check out their websites to learn more about the coins as well and i'll try and do some videos to go more in detail about the coins but the purpose of this video today is that i actually came across the new amd ryzen 9 7950x CPU hash rate benchmarks, which is the new Ryzen 9 AMD CPUs that have come out now based on the Zen 4 architecture with the new Zen 4 sockets, okay? And basically what this website here, which is CryptoAge.com is saying is that they've done quite a couple of tests uh, with this CPU paired with DDR5 RAM at 6000 megahertz CL36 DDR5 RAM and they actually did some tests on a few different algorithms which are the RandomX algorithm, uh, Ghost Rider, Astro BWT and Pufferfish 2 algorithms and basically here you can see the results uh, that were achieved and I will be putting a link down in the description below for this article so you can check out the results and uh, what voltage settings were used and what wattage uh, they actually used to gain the hash rates that are quoted here. Okay, so for example, on the random X algorithm, which is for Monero cryptocurrency as well, and by the way, no, you're not going to make any sort of profit at the moment 
on Monero if you CPU mine, okay, uh, even with this CPU, which is the latest that came out, which is one of the best out there, even for efficiency, AMD have always been at the forefront when it comes to cryptocurrency mining with your CPUs and when compared to Intel CPUs. I actually have an Intel CPU in my system right now, which is an i9-12900K, which is the latest generation. Well, the latest new next generation is coming out in a few months time, which will be the 13th gen, but it is nowhere in comparison to the AMD CPUs, AMD Ryzen specifically, and Threadrippers, of course, if you can stomach to afford that because it's quite expensive but for the amd ryzen 9 cpus which are actually desktop gaming uh, cpu processors um, you can actually achieve these hash rates now not to bore you to death with all the details of this article so you can go through it yourself at your leisure i've gone through these uh, results i've gone on the least hash rate that they achieved okay which is normally with the base clock without any overclocking whatsoever and I have input these into a calculator on uh, profitmine.com, okay? So profitmine.com is similar to whattomine.com where you can input the values of your CPUs here or even your GPUs if you like. There are several calculators here, even for hard disks and even for your ASIC miners if you have those. So what I've done is I've gotten the four algorithms that were uh, benchmarked on uh, crypto age okay and i've put in the most basic result that they've, that they've got the minimal result and i've plugged that into the calculator here for the different algorithms and these were the astra bwtv2 random x pufferfish2 and ghost rider now for epic cache the algorithm that is used is the random x algorithm which is the same algorithm that monero also uses okay and here are the results and also i have calculated the electricity costs not at 10 cents 10 dollar cents per kilowatt hour which is the uh, usual average that us citizens calculate with it because that is what they pay maybe it might be slightly more now but i've calculated it with 16 dollar per kilowatt hour which is what i would pay and i would pay even a bit more because here where i am based our electricity costs are based in tiers so the more you use the more you're going to pay but i just took an average cost of 16 since the cpus are burning roughly around 150 watts and it's not like when i was gpu mining where i was burning 10 times more that now to my astonishment and you'll probably be surprised as well. Now, I don't actually have this CPU to actually test myself, but according to these results, if I were to mine the Dero coin, okay, with, which uses the Astro BWT V2 algorithm at a 15.6 kilohash per second hash rate with 128 watts of power, which is what is stated in this article here, so Astro BWT algorithm, with 15.6 kilohash per second, okay, at 128 watts, this would be making roughly $16.72. Now here, which I, I am not totally certain, because in this article it says Astro BWT algorithm, while on the calculator here, it's saying that this is Astro BWT V2. So I'm not sure if this is the same thing or not, but there is no other Astro BW2 algorithm on this calculator, so it might not be accurate. So do take this with a pinch of salt for Dero because it is showing a staggering $16.71 per day profit after electricity costs if you were to mine this coin on this algorithm. But again, do take the Dero one with a pinch of salt. Now, the one that I am sure of, and I've actually seen this um, on a CPU working, okay, but I do not own an AMD, as I said, CPU Ryzen 9 um, 7950X just yet, is Epic Cache. So for Epic Cache, for a Ryzen 97950, which is based on the random X algorithm, this is, for the basic setup, the very minimal 18... 0.2 kilohash or 18,200 hash per second. And if you were put to put that in the calculator, 18, 
1,200 hash per second at 150 watts, that would net you around 69 US dollar cents per day of pure profit. So in reality, you'd be making $1.26 and with the electricity costs at 16, 16 cents per kilowatt hour, you'd be uh, using around 58 cents in electricity, which will result in a net profit of 69 US dollar cents. So that's equivalent to around uh, 60 euro cents a day. Okay. So like I said before, I would not take the dare that much into consideration, but I would like to test this out. And if anyone has tested this out on one of these CPUs, do please leave a comment down in the comment section below so that everyone can know how much you would actually make mining Dero with your CPU if it is possible to even do so. This is Astro BWD version two, so I'm not really sure if this can actually support it, if this CPU does actually support it. It probably will, maybe it's a bit too early uh, for this algorithm, but we'll see what the result will be. But focusing more on Epic Cash and even BTRM, is profitable. So the answer to the question of, is there any coin that you can mine that's still actually profitable with your GPUs? I don't think there are at the moment. With your CPU, you actually can, okay? So these are Ghost Rider algorithm and RandomX. Now RandomX on Epic Cache and RandomX on uh, Monero, for example. Like I mentioned earlier, RandomX on Monero is not profitable at the moment, even with this CPU. So Ghost Rider on Raptorium at the moment is not profitable, okay? For Quantum, it's still not profitable, okay? It's almost around break even at the current prices, obviously. So things might change tomorrow or the next day. So these things will go up and down depending on the price of the cryptocurrency as well. So what I would be interested in doing is actually giving Epic Cash a shot and trying to mine this coin, see if I can achieve the minimal 18,200 hash per second at 150 watts, which is quite good in my opinion, okay? And actually see if I can actually make around 70 cents a day, okay? So that would be 2.62 epic, okay? So the current price at the moment is 48 cents, okay? So if we're checking out profitmine.com, which is showing the price in real time at 48 cents and we check coin market cap so it's around 48 cents there you go so it's showing you the price in real time there it's updating all the time 414 for dero and it is 412 now for dero so it does update in real time if you actually refresh the page as well so do check out these websites i did not know that this uh, profit-mine.com calculator existed up until a few days ago. So I'm sharing this information with you as well. So you can check out this calculator as well and even compare it to other calculators like what to mine, for example, and see if they are on par. I would be inclined to actually purchase one of these CPUs, but not for mining only, obviously, because I, I would have liked to have changed my system. Okay. So I do have an i9, but my i9 12900K does burn quite a significant amount of power, especially when I'm doing other things like, for example, encoding videos and things like that, okay? So I would like to actually contribute to society and the environment and try to get a CPU that burns less power as well. So I will be looking at these AMD Ryzen 9 7950X CPUs, maybe even the uh, 7900 x CPU as well. I did see another article from CryptoAge.com that they did test out the 7900X as well. And the differences on, for example, RandomX, uh, RandomX was up here. So RandomX, uh, they achieved around 13,000 hash per second, okay? It wasn't, so there is quite a significant difference between the two CPUs, obviously. Um, the price for these, these CPUs at the moment costs around 700 US dollars just for the CPU alone. Uh, I'm not sure if that actually comes with the fan or not. I still need to do a bit more research on that. But when I do find out more information, I will put out a video out there to let you know about that as well. But for today, I just wanted to let you know that it does seem that there is 
at least Epic Cash, which is profitable. And it's not a big profit, but it is not too small either. So, I mean, 70 US dollars a day at the current price, obviously. So if the price of Epic goes up, um, it, it might be possible that you'd make more profit, but that all depends how many people start mining and start um, uh, adding to the hash rate difficulty as well. So we'll have to see what happens. But the simple answer to the question is yes, there are coins out there that are actually profitable and mining is still alive. It's far from dead, okay? So guys and girls, do not give up. Mining is still out there. GPU mining, yes, has suffered quite a bit after the Ethereum merge, but there is still hope and there is still light at the end of the tunnel. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below, smash the like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.